Hello everyone. Now, in case you haven't been following along recently, I've just made a string of videos introducing the basics of networking and Linux. And what I'm going to do now is install a program on Linux, show you how to install programs, and in particular, install a program called TCP Dump. Now, TCP Dump is a program that lets you capture network traffic that comes through your network interfaces here. So you'll use it all the time, and I'm just going to show you how to install it, and in general, how to install programs on Linux. Okay, so here I've just got the laptop and the mouse connected to it, but none of the other gear is here because it's running on Wi-Fi now, so I've hidden the rest, but it is the same network that I've been using recently. Now, before I install any program on this, we've got to update the package list, which lets it know what package is available, what programs are out there. So I'll just show you where it, it gets that from. Now, if you remember the command more, which just shows you the text of a file, uh, the one we want to look at is in etc apt sources.list. Now remember, press tab to autofill stuff. I'll have a look what we've got here. So we've got a few sources, and uh, these are the ones we'll probably be using, okay, where it gets its list of packages from. You do that when you set up. Now, in the setup that I did in this uh, video series, I didn't actually have a, a source list because I wasn't connected to the internet. But if so, if you don't have that, you'll have to add that. But you will have this file. And what you'll probably have if you installed from a USB CD image is this one here that says... Uh, CD-ROM, okay? Now we don't have that image installed anymore, so it won't be able to find that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a program called VI, which is a bit tricky when you first meet it, but you use it all the time, or I do anyway. Now we can't edit this as the normal uh, CW and E88 user here, or whatever you use. You have to be the root user, the super user. So to go to super user, just do SU, but depending on how you installed it, you might not have that enabled, okay? So I've reinstalled this without the uh, super user password. So now to get to root, you just do sudo bash and put your password in and that brings you to the root user. So now I'll reuse this um, VI program that I said, VI slash etc apt sources dot list. Okay, now here it is. Now to edit it, as I said, it is, you can't just type away, okay? At the moment, I'm not in any editing mode. I'm just in a move cursors around. Okay, so what I want to do is just get to the line that I want. I could delete it, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a little hash mark in front of it here, which basically makes it a comment rather than something it actually reads. So when it goes through this file, anything that starts with a hash mark here, will just it'll just skip over. So here I am, and I want to put that hash in there. So what I have to do is press I for insert. Okay, I'm in mean insert mode, so now I can type. So I put the hash and put a space. Okay, now I'm still in insert, so what I want to do is press escape and then colon, so shift colon, right? And you'll see it brings up down the bottom here this colon. Now that's ready for commands, and I want to W to write, which writes to the file, and also Q to quit. And that's it, okay? So now I want to run the update to get the new package list before I install the program. So you do that by doing apt get update. You can do apt update if you want. Now it's currently, as you can see there, reading package list and it's done. So now to install the, an actual program, you do apt get install and the name of the program. In this particular case, I want TCP dump. Okay, tells you what it's going to do, does it. Done. Okay, so that's done. And if you want to install other programs while you're at it, just do the same thing. Um, apt get install and the program name. So that's, that's really it. So now what I can do is to run the program, TCP dump, and press enter. Now Linux is pretty quiet on a network, so this won't be actually doing much. So I'll start another session, just Control shift t to bring up another uh, CLI here. Control shift plus make it a bit bigger. And I'm going to ping google.com in a second. So I'll go back to the previous one, okay, and do TCP dump, okay? Now when I start, I was already did some stuff, when I start pinging, I go back here now, we can see uh, what it's actually doing. You can see that this machine, Debian, because that's what I called it, is going to this place in Sydney, and it's doing ICMP stuff. So what I'll do, I'll just stop this, as I said, control C, and you can see what it's doing, okay? You see it did some stuff, did some ARP. I'll go through what these are in future videos. But you see it's, it's got the name rather than the IP address. 
okay? What we can actually do is do TCP dump dash N. That makes it so it doesn't tell you the name, it just tells you the raw IP addresses. So if I start it now, I've still got the ping going on. You can see, I'll just stop it. You can see it's come from um, this machine here out to whatever Google managed to be, okay? My request and the reply. Now you'll use this a lot but you're not necessarily going to look at it on the screen. TCP dump is just a program to capture, mainly, just capture the network traffic. So what we can do is, doesn't matter if we're using N or not, TCP dump dash W will write it to a file. So um, capture, and just give it a PCAP extension for packet capture, and there it is. Okay, so it's capturing now, okay, and when you're done capturing, just control C. And you can see down here that it captured 14 packets, okay? If we do our long list, you'll see it there, okay? The capture, and that worked out to be 1.6 kilobytes, okay? So that's how you install a program, and that's how you install TCP dump. Now, TCP dump is going to come up again and again and again, and although I capture with it, I don't often analyze with it. We use another program for that called Wireshark, and I'll get into that uh, soon too. But for now, you can just have a look at TCP dump on your own network and see what you've got floating around and what happens when you go to um, a web, web page. Like if I bring up a, a web page here, I'll just bring up a browser. One day when it opens, oh, there you go. All that stuff there, just as Firefox was starting and not even doing much. So you've got all this traffic just started. So you start seeing a lot of stuff. So you have to be able to filter that down when you're looking for something in particular. Um, I will go much more into that, especially on how to filter, because, you know, a lot of traffic goes through the network and you might be looking for just one particular bit. You've got to know how to filter it down so you don't unnecessarily fill up the disk. Okay, but I will get more into that, of course, and we'll have a look at this on another program uh, called Wireshark, which um, is much better for analysing, which most people pretty much use as the standard. So I'll leave that there for now, but... Um, I can't wait to get into Wireshark, but I have to show you TCP dump first because it's handy for machines that don't have a desktop, for instance, but pretty much everything has TCP dump or some functionality that really uses TCP dump as the nuts and bolts of it. So there it is. You can write a file, save a file, and uh, we'll have a look at these files in the near future. So take it easy for now, and I'll catch you next time.